Hello all. In this video lecture, basically we will discuss the different type of fringes in a microset interferometer. There are four types of fringes we can generate through the microset interferometer. Like that, one is known as a circular fringes. Like that, it will be an example of equal inclination. You know very well from the previous lecture. In this case, the mirror M1 and the mirror M2 dash. That the mirror M2 dash will be, will be the virtual image of mirror M1 should be a parallel to each other. Or you can say that the real mirror M1 and real mirror M2 should be a perpendicular to each other like that. Or you can say that the mirror M1, real mirror M1, which will be parallel to virtual image of a mirror M2 dash. And also you can generate a image like a curve form, like that, hyperbola like that. Also you will generate a straight line and also you will generate a curve form like that. This is also a hyperbola. It will be a straight line, straight line fringes. This one is a hyperbola, hyperbolic fringes. This is also hyperbolic fringes. Bolic. This one is a circular fringes. Now in this case, what will happen? Now first we will start here from in straight time curve. The mirror M1, like that, this is mirror M1 here, and also mirror M1 is here. But the, the mirror M2 days, the virtual mirror M2 days make an angle. Or you can say that the real mirror M1 and M2 is it not exactly perpendicular. Or you can say that the real mirror M1 and virtual image of mirror M2 not be parallel. In this case, you will see this type of the fringes. Now, here, when a cut like that, you will see here a straight line and now M2 dash is here, you will see the curve like that. Now, you can see that you will generate a four fringes by the Michelson interferometer and all of these fringes is localized fringes and this circular fringe is also known as a Hedinger fringes Hedinger fringes and in this case all the fringes is example of not equal incarnation because you can see that here the film the all the film the air film will form as a wish shape now here 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 will be a parallel film example of the parallel film and the thickness between the air film will be equal and the inclination is here is important they will form the circular fringes you know the head danger fringes in this case the film is like a wish shape and in this case fringe uh, fringe is Film is generated, yeah, film is produced as a equal thicknesses. Yeah, or you can say that is the Feju type. Feju fringes. Yeah, you can say that. Here will be Hedinger fringes. All of these are Feju fringes. Why, why we are saying a localized fringes? What the meaning of the localized? Localized means when, when you observe a, any fringes for a particular point which is known as a localized fringes. When you will observe a fringes, all the point, 
This is known as a de-localized fringes. But here we will observe the fringes at a particular point. From here we'll observe. From here will be observed. And from here will be observed. But we will observe the fringes for a some point. Okay. Now also Now also you can say the difference, you can, you can differentiate like that. Suppose that here will be a mirror M1. This one is the virtual mirror of M2 dash. This will be the telescope here. Here will be a extended source here. When light is coming here like that, you know that light will be reflected here and here. And they will form a this is the image of mirror m1 this will be the image of mirror m2 you know very well from the previous class this is point suppose this is a point p this is a p dash this is a p double dash now you can see that here will you form the fringes like a circular fringes you will see in the telescope and also you can say that this light will be a parallel light and when the parallel light will come in our eye, then I will feel the image will form at a infinite. In this case, fringe will form at a infinite. But now in a localized film, film what will happen? This is a mirror M1. Here will be a telescope. This is like that. Here, both the telescope and the reflect here back, and now that will be happen like that. You know the make some angle like that, and this incident light come here and make a image of M1 and M2 here. This is a this is the image of through the M1. This is the image of M1. And this is a point. Suppose that P is the point here. P here is a P double S like that. Also, you can see that this point will be cut here at a point Q. So you feel that here the light is coming from some finite distance. Here light is come, coming from infinite distance. Here you will feel the light is coming from some finite distance. Here from a Q just behind of mirror M1. So you can say that here the frame will be form a localized frame. Here will be form as a Hedinger fringe. Also you can say that here the thickness will be important. The fringes will be formed by equal thicknesses like a wave shape. Also you can say that Feju fringes. Feju fringes. Here will be a circular fringe, also known as a Hedinger. Hedinger fringes. That is the basic difference between the localized film and circular fringes. In a localized fringes, fringes will be, will be formed at a finite distance. But in the case of a circular fringes, the fringes will be formed at an infinite distance. These are the basic difference between the localized fringes and circular fringes. Now, now again we will discuss how to calculate the radius in case of Michelson interferometer. You know that the this is the part difference 2d cos theta is equal to and 2d cos r is equal to n lambda in case of the dark fringes in a microcenter parameter when r is equal to 0 cos theta will be a maximum cos r sorry cos r is equal to 1 it will be maximum it means that these two quantity will be constant it means that order order will be maximum n will be maximum it means 2d is equal to n lambda like that it means that at the center when you observe the fringes in a telescope at the center the nth order and that's order will be maximum at the center 
the fringes the order of the fringes will be maximum and the order will be decreases when when you will count the ring far away from the center suppose that this is the this one the first ring order will be n minus 1 this will be the second ring order will be n minus 2 is the third ring order will be a n minus 3 and this will be a ring of mth order mth ring the order will be a n minus m now suppose that this mth order ring will make angle of theta m theta mm this is the radius of rm you can see that the cos theta 2d cos theta m is equal to from this figure it will be equal to n minus m is equal to lambda you know the order of mth ring and you can see that so now you can write cos theta m is equal to n divided by n lambda divided by 2d minus m lambda divided by 2d from the equation 1 you know that 2d n lambda by 2d is equal to 1 you can write 1 minus n lambda by 2d is cos theta m suppose that the distance from the telescope is d now the tan theta m is equal to r n divided by d and also you can you, you can calculate the cos theta m is d is under root r m square into d square when put this value here now d is r m square plus d square is not 1 minus m lambda by 2d sorry small d and square both side you will get the result r m square plus d square like that and equal to 1 minus m lambda by 2d is a whole square now you can write the equation here like that r m square plus d square now d square in 1 minus m lambda 2d is minus 2 you can write and also the r m square and d square is equal to this equation like that 1 minus m lambda 2d minus 2 is minus 1 and r m is equal to d is 1 minus m lambda 2d minus 2 minus 1 is half half and you can expand this one you will get the result 1 plus 2m lambda by 2d so on minus 1 is half minus 1 is cancel out now you will get the result is under root m lambda by d this is the radius of circular fringes in case of Michelson interferometer you can see that mth ring the radius is rm when here this is the mth ring not order what will the order here of the mth ring is n minus m it means that order will be decreases you know that at the center order will be maximum when when you when you go from far away far away from the center the order will be decreases the, this is the ring of the mth ring and the order will be decreases it means that the radius will be increases when the order will be a decreases but in the case of the newton ring in the case of the newton rings the radius for dark ring is equal to n lambda r r is the order when the order increases radius will be increases but here order will be decreases radius will be increase in case of the Michelson interferometer now now again we will compare the exactly the newton rings 
and Michelson interferometer. Here will be the Newton rings and here will be the Michelson interferometer. No meter. For difference, here basically here air film air air film air film air film formed between plano convex lens and glass plate and here the virtual virtual air film formed if what formed between rear mirror m1 and virtual image of mirror m2 days this is the first difference here here will form a circular fringes circular fringes is known as phage fringes 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 in this case the circular fringes is known known as hedinger hedinger fringes fringes now third difference what will the third difference is the third difference is here the equal thickness is important the circular fringes form the circular the circular fringes fringes are formed circular fringes are formed by equal thickness of air films here the circular fringes circular fringes are formed by equal inclination Yes, sir. Okay. Fourth is important. Here, fringe is always form as a circular. Here will be a circular, also known as hyperbolic or state line which is depend on inclination angle of real mirror and virtual virtual image image of mirror these are the basic differences between the newton rings and michelson interferometer now here i will stop here in next video lecture we will discuss the application of michelson interferometer thank you